Hello guys, it's Michael here from Mixing Mango and today I'm going to be talking about bots and cheaters banned. First thing I'm going to talk about um, some stuff that's going to happen uh, tomorrow. Josh is uploading something about the OG blog, a uh, talk about that. And on Friday I'm finally bringing back my Road to Max Combat, I think it's episode 6. Oh, sorry, I had to clear my throat. So anyway, yeah, so it's going to be back. I've got quite a few levels. Um, I'm probably going to be doing it either weekly or every two weeks, but at the moment I am revising for exams. I've got quite a lot of exams coming up, so some science modules, and that is really difficult stuff. So I'm not going to be uh, doing as many videos, and I'm going to be on as much. So it's kind of be just like a, a chilled way back into the series and not doing as much um, leveling and stuff. So what I want to talk about today is botting. Now Josh touched over this briefly in his community video, but I wanted to go into a bit more depth. I just wanted to talk about my feelings on botting. Now, the big question is, well, there are two questions that a lot of people ask. Are bots good or bad, especially for the economy? And the second one is, do Jagex want to ban bots when they bring in so much money to uh, to their like bank accounts and stuff, you know, well, real life bank accounts. The first one, are bots good or bad for the economy? Now, obviously, they are 110% bad, all right? They do ruin the economy and also they ruin training spots like I can go to fire giants and I'll have to compete with bots who I openly say to them are you a bot and they don't reply for like half an hour and then they come back after they've been left clicking the fire giants and they say dude I was just AFKing how can you be left clicking it and not see that I was talking to you it's ridiculous really so and not just that other stuff like herbs and um, fletching and stuff, you can't make money off of those things because the bots just floods the GE with them and then you can't, the prices go down and you make less money which is annoying because it means that if they can actually properly start up this bots uh, banning and stuff and they can get rid of all the bots and hopefully there will be less of them I can actually make some money doing something that I could a couple of years ago when there were l less bots that I won't can't do now because the bots have flooded that and I think that is really cool and I really do hope that they can get rid of bots because they are generally bad influence on and just a bad just a bad presence on the whole of RuneScape really especially the economy and also training and stuff so next part was do Jagex really want to ban them now this is something I've thought about for quite a while um, do Jagex really want to ban them? Obviously bots are about half the players online at one given time so obviously their membership fees are making Jagex a lot richer just think if they pay £5 a month and there are 30,000 bots on at one time that's 30,000 times 5 which is like 150,000 extra that they're going to get just from the bots and that doesn't include Squirrel of Fortune and other stuff that these bots might buy but that's the thing <laughs> I the slow like Bossy Bay came out about three months ago and it's taken till about now to for them to actually come in 2013 for them to actually start banning the bots. A couple of weeks ago I actually first saw my first bot in Botany Bay. Never before and then I saw about twenty after that. So that's that's really cool. It shows that Jagex are actually they realise the community, the fans, they're more important than the money from the bots or maybe maybe I'm being naive and actually they don't care they just they just want to please kind of halfway in between both the bots and also the people but I think they are really making an effort to make the game better and obviously they're trying to improve it by getting rid of the bots now I think that's all good and honestly bots are bad and Jagex are actually giving a fuck now you know about them and actually trying to ban them and I think that's really cool but the last thing I wanted to talk about obviously because that's all good and I really hope that now they're using this bot watch system which is really actually quite high tech apparently and they are watching these bots and they're banning them so uh, I heard a story that actually uh, Suomi which was the last person to get 200 mil hunter he was about 170th on the leaderboards person to get hunter because hunter has always been a massive 200 mil bot fest apparently and so hundred people have actually been banned from Hunter and he's moved up a hundred places and that shows how many max players 200 mil players are actually banning because at first like they say here they are they're not discriminating they're not just like 
um, banning people who have only had an account a year or something and only been on membership for four months. They're banning people who have got 200 mil, probably been playing since 02. But you know, if you're that high, and you you know you shouldn't bot. So that is that is really cool. So lastly, what I wanted to talk about when the bots are gone, and I hope they do go, guys. I think there are some other things that they they need to address. So Jagex got Jagex keep the good work up, but remember there are other things bad out there like dicing and stuff like that. So don't stop. Your work isn't done. But I think a new RuneScape and hopefully it will go into RS3. A new better runescape is evolving and especially with the banning of bots and maybe the banning of bots for the whole future who knows that would be a really good start so uh, yeah thanks guys for watching and thank you Jagex for finally being able to ban bots <laughs>